Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to my friend, Week 111. Wow. That's right, 111 weeks. Moran Brothers, me and... This guy. <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing weight loss crap for 111 weeks. Enjoy, say la vie, and call your mother do you love her. Dumplings 30. I'm gonna rant about the playoffs, baby. The Lakers, they're going for number 17 this year so they can pass up the dadgum Celtics. Derrick Rose hurt his leg yesterday, so it looks like it's gonna be the Lakers in Miami in the playoff in the, in the finals. And guess who's gonna win? The Lakers. If you smell la 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 la, what the Josh is cooking. <sighs> Partner, everybody's had some time with them boys. Why don't you try something a little less circulated? You gotta admit, I've always felt a little fruity. Here you go, my friend. You take care of them grapes. I'll be your weight loss wingman. Thanks, weight loss wingman. Take care of this. I'm your wingman. Hey, excuse me, little girl. I saw the grapes in there, so I, in fact, ate your grapes. <laughs> Greetings and salutations. It's week 411, and my neighbor's playing his radio just like a ghetto person should. Security! Anyways, look at this guy. Quincy, and I'm part of the Moran Brothers, and I'm here today with the other part, Josh. Quincy, what are you doing? We're here today to talk about week 111. That's right. I said, I said, I said week 111. Quincy, you're trying too hard, dude. I'm having fun. No, you're, yeah, you're, fun. you're being lame. I said week 111. <laughs> it's, it's stupid though, bro. So Josh and I had some time to dialogue before the camera was on. Actually, the camera was on. And uh, we're here to say that there are two things about weight loss you need to know, but you're absolutely not going to find them here. <laughs> <laughs> so Josh and I were talking, it's like 111 weeks have gone by, and I posed the question to him, what's harder, Josh, starting a diet cold turkey, or falling off the wagon for a while, and starting again or continuing on his answer was 
Starting again. Thanks for that in-depth <laughs> analysis, Josh. We'll be back to you in just a minute with the weather. Well, it's because like when you start cold turkey, um, I don't know, you're all motivated because you have so so much, you have so far still to go. Right. And, and when you've already went most of the way and you fall off, you don't really have that much farther to go. You know, Josh, that's why I think it's important. This is why I think it's important to keep yourself motivated. We've done video after video about, you know, as in gear or motivation, this or that. I think it's very important on the reel to find something that keeps you motivated, whether it's a goal, a vision, write something on the wall, get your favorite poster, whatever it is. What was it for me today? It was watching a special on uh, Fuel TV about John Jones. Week 111, the Moran Brothers. <sighs> about to go for the weigh-in. I had a pretty dud going good week. I ate coffee every day. Pretty excited about that. Coffee rules. Coffee beans. Um, pretty mad at what the Raiders did in the draft yesterday and the day before. How about you? Yep. But anyways, I'm looking forward to maybe losing a pound or two. Uh, I hope so. I'll be pretty upset if I lose any weight. We've had a pretty good week. And I tested my growing out yesterday. I just shot around. It was pretty fun. Ski, ski. Come on. Oh, ski, ski. Boop. I got boop. Oh, got what? A window to the wall. To the sweat drop down my beep. Oh, you beep. Beep. Turn it off. Later. Turn it off. I'm going to do what he does. Turn it off, Josh. Studies show that nutrition is the absolute toughest part to get a hold of when trying to lose weight. Who did the study, Josh? I did. When? Ten minutes ago. I asked you the question. Yo, my peeps, it's the Q-Dog on a solo cam for week one, one, one. It was a good week for me. I got back in the gym. I was crushing on the iron. I got four or five solid days of cardio in. You can't forget to have a goal in mind, all right? That's just, you got to have a goal in mind or else you might lose your fervor to keep rocking. So if you don't have a goal or you're just doing it lackadaisically, hop in there. Get a goal. Have a vision. Get her done. Did hit a stumbling block this week, but I'm going to bounce back. I'm ready to hit the scale. That's for sure. Peace out, y'all. I'm out. I did not, but the Dodgers have got a great start. Magic, make the magic happen. The Dodgers are 15 and 6. Let me take this time to say the Braves, the Braves suck. Braves fans, get a life! That's what I got for you right you there. You just put a middle Braves. finger up. I'm doing it again. I, I effing hate the Braves. Don't. That's for you, James McCarty, you stupid idiot. Um, and you, David, I hate you even though you're my cousin. I'm blurring that out. Hey, Josh. Real quick, give the people five seconds about the Raiders draft. It Raiders, how do you pass up on Josh Chapman? Dick uh, Von Minzy! sucked. Anyway, guys, we uh, sincerely appreciate you watching the videos. Please comment, because that lets us know that you are actually paying attention. <laughs> um, it'd be great to hear from you. Moran Brothers Week 111, live shows coming in about a month and a half or so. Lonnie Smalley, shout out to you. Josh, who you got a shout out for? I don't think Lonnie likes us anymore. He does. He, he just don't told talk me to, to us no more. He told me you were stupid. We're out. <laughs> it's week 111 for the Moran Brothers, and it's time for a monumental weigh-in on a new floor in a new spot. What's so monumental about it. And these little children will not be quiet, so they will probably be going to jail by the day's end.
Have fun in prison. Okay, right. Josh. Let's either get upset or get happy. Here we go. It's a good, solid week of work for Josh Moran as he pulls off his shirt. Not, not work out, because I couldn't. I got a little bit of work in. Here we go. Moments before the weigh-in. Josh is ready. Last week. Oh, you're 207 last week? Yes. 206. Moran goes down a pound. A pound? That's five pounds. That's 211. Oh. I thought you were 210. You lost a pound. We didn't even count it. Oh, now all of a sudden. 11 last week, I was 236 on the scale. Week 111. I thought you lost a pound. I guess we're not doing that. I did. But remember, you fought so hard. And you lost the pound! Okay, I guess I lost four pounds. I lost four pounds. But you know what? I'm happy with that, Negro. You lose it. You lose it. Lose. I'm down with that. Uh, Quincy's way in. Here we come. Week 111. 236 last week. Got to see what he is this week as I pick the Oreo out of my teeth. Oreo is really good, actually. You lost two pounds. 234. Both of us lost today. Cool, finally. Fine. What's up, everybody? It is the Q Dog, and it is the week 110 solo cam. And I just want to say thanks for all your support. You know, sometimes going into solo cam, you wonder what am I going to say that's going to matter. And uh, hopefully this is what matters to you. If you're struggling, look deep inside for a reason to keep going. Um, there's a reason for your struggles. There's a reason that you fall down. There's a reason to get back up. And that is that you're worth every ounce of effort and energy that you can put in to this journey. What's it? And it's going to, along the way, it's really going to touch somebody's life. And that's why you got to keep doing it. You, you just have to be strong for yourself and for those that are around you. Quite it. If you fall, doesn't matter. Get back up and keep going. So whatever, whatever your journey brings, know that it's to make you better. And keep fighting through. Quite it. Much love to you peeps. Quite Peace. It. Why are you interrupting my solo cam? I didn't interrupt yours at all today. Not today. Hey, Payback's a bitch. Get over it, man. You got your message through. Don't get butt hurt. Some you people. Interrupt. You even interrupt my phone calls when I'm on the phone. It's ridiculous. Some people's kids. Uh, you're supposed to keep that solo cam shout. If mom would have only eliminated your vocal cords at an early age, this world would be a better place. Peace.